Well, welcome back. The time is now 8:16, and teaching kids about money is crucial. And during the holidays, when kids could receive monetary gifts, it's a great time to show them the value of a dollar. So to help us out with this, we have certified financial educator Steve Sebo joining us now. So good morning to you, Steve, and thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. Now, I know you do have a few tips that we're going to get to, but before we do that, you do have a book that's out called How Money Works. So tell us about it and where people can go to purchase it. Well, it's a book on personal finance that we really wrote. My co-author and myself, Tom Matthews, is a 40-year veteran of Wall Street. We wrote it really so a 14-year-old kid could understand the basics of personal finance, and it's become the number one selling book in the, in the, on the topic in 2020, luckily. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That is awesome. And it is never too early to learn about money, so let's go ahead and dive right into those tips that you have. The first tip that you say is to invest any money that they are gifted. Talk about that. Yeah, teach him a little bit about investing. And this is actually, on this day 40 years ago, I invested in my first stock. And um, and it's a great lesson because, and I had the guy, got, I was gifted $100 40 years ago on my birthday. And I invested, and it's a great lesson to teach kids how money can grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that compound interest and how all that works together, too. Um, the next tip that you have is to let them get involved with budgeting. So why is this a good idea? Well, teaching them that not all money is just there to be spent frivolously. frivolously. I mean, it's really about, you know, paying bills and, and meeting obligations and being a responsible citizen. And so it, it teaches them more about the real world of money as opposed to just the, the, the world of buying toys and things and material items. I like that because so many adults are afraid to budget. I mean, anytime you say that word, like people get tense. So to get them used to it and get how to do it, it's going to help them as an adult. Next, you say to explain to them their wants versus their needs. Exactly. We all want a lot of things, a lot of material things, of course, and that's all fun. But needs are another level. And of course, we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. The economy is pretty crazy right now. We don't know what we're looking at in the next quarter. So teach them about needs, about, again, about the real world and about needs versus wants, things like clothing and food and shelter and those types of things that many people around the country uh, don't have right now. Mm -hmm, that is so true. And this next tip kind of goes hand in hand with that. Teach them to think before they spend. Right. Think that not to, to, to not make impulse buys like most of us do. And to really think about it, to not get up and get wrapped up in the emotion of purchasing and the emotion of materialism and really to think it through because that bill is going to come due. And it's also an opportunity cost. If you buy something today, you don't have money for something else tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And finally, your last tip is to teach them that it is better to give. Well, all the studies really show that there, it's much more rewarding to give something to someone than it is actually to receive it. As fun as it is to receive gifts, all the studies show that really there's a more of an emotional, uh, you know, feeling of contentment when you when you actually give. So it, it's a great it's a great lesson for for kids to learn. Yeah, and it's so timely, especially right now around the holidays. Now, with all these tips that you have, I know it's geared towards kids, but what age do you think they really grasp these these uh, these tips that you have right here? Oh, very young age. I, w I would say five or six years old, depending on mm. the child. They pick things up very quickly, especially when they want things. As you know, for those of you that have kids, they always want something, right? And so it really it really shows them how the system works, how the economic system works. And it's just a great lesson around the holidays for, for them to learn. Yes. Well, Steve, where can people go to get more information on the book and to learn more about you? They can go to Amazon.com to buy the book, or they can go to HowMoneyWorks.com. Love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Happy holidays. Same to you. Well, coming up, if you fail to keep those.